Good day, learners, and welcome again to our new lesson in oral communication. This is week two, lesson two in OCC. This is just a continuation of our previous lesson in oral com. And let me just begin it with this question. Why are communication models important? That's the question that we are going to answer, of course, through our discussion. Understanding and using models of communication will help us to communicate effectively and successfully within and outside the organization. We do have different types of it. We have the following, the linear model, transactional model, interactive model, and Shannon Weaver model. These are the different types of communication models. So you will learn the similarities and some differences of the said models. The first type of communication model is what we call linear model. Take a look at the diagram class. You will see here that it only involves the sender, the receiver, and the message itself. In this type of communication model, it simply explains the process of one-way communication, meaning class, wala pong feedback na ibibigay si receiver. Okay? Ang pinaka-scenario is the sender simply delivers or transmits a message and then the receiver will just merely absorb it. Let me just give you a real-life example of this one. Here, we have radio broadcasting. Familiar naman kayo sa mga news anchor, tama? So this one is a good example of a linear model wherein it involves a sender sending messages to a large group of receivers, which is yung mga viewers natin sa kanika nila mga bahay, such as music or news programs. Isa din yun sa mga halimbawa pa natin. Now, this type of communication does not include dialogue between the parties. Kaya kanina sinabi, the receiver will just merely absorb. He or she will just merely receive the message. No, it it is or it doesn't involve. No, it does not involve feedback. No, it does not involve or that the receiver is not expected to provide a reply or feedback. Kasi nga the the design of the said communication model is simply a one way communication okay it is usually used for entertainment purposes or information purposes the second type of communication model that we have here is the transactional model from the word itself transaction transactional Okay? It's a theory that proposes communication between two or more people. Of course, kapag mayroong transaction, it involves two or more people. Hindi pwedeng isa lang yan. Okay? It occurs in an ongoing exchange of messages where both the sender and the receiver influence what is communicated. Okay? For them to have that, um, let's say, final verdict about something, since may transaction nga sila, it is very important to have that uh, feedback no po, ng bawat isa. So, meaning it's an active process of communication, a two-way process of communication. According to Kumar 2020, he believes that the transactional model communication is the exchange of messages, just like what I mentioned earlier, between the sender and the receiver, wherein they are expected to take turns no po, to send and or receive messages. Meaning, ano yun, no? uh, magbibigayan sila ng chance to have the feedback na kinakailangan nila in relation with the context ng kanilang conversation. Take a look at this diagram. This one is a bit puno. No? This one is a bit um, detailed. No, It's uh, full of details. It has full of details. For in, as you can see, we have the, in, the, the sender, which is the encoder at the same time. We have the receiver, which... Uh, function is to decode the message. No? Tandaan, kapag decode yung message, ibig sabihin, kailangan maintindihan o maunawaan ito ng uh, kausap. Okay? Naintindihan niya. So that makapag-reply siya in accordingly doon sa sinend na message ni sender or ng ating communicator. Okay? And as you can see, class, there are um, several, ano to, uh, barriers. Na po, as you can see, we, aside from noise, 
Now, we do also have other barriers such as the physical and psychological, cultural context, relational context, social context. And you know what, class? No, you will learn more about these barriers sa mga susunod nating lesson. Itatakal natin siya separately. But, of course, going back to transaction model of communication, ipinapakita lang nito, class, na ito ay dalawang uh, way. No, It's a two-way process of communication. Hindi kagaya kanina nung sa linear, yung receiver natin, he or she will merely absorb it. He or she will merely receive the message. But in here, class, no, able, si, uh, may kakayahan no, po, sa, si ating receiver to, to provide yung kinakailangan na feedback. Okay? That's it. Transactional model of communication. In simple terms, the transactional model of communication is a two-way process in which both the sender and receiver are actively involved in constructing meaning. No? Ibig sabihin ng active, actively involved, meron silang equal opportunity to give or to deliver yung kanilang messages. Okay? Next one, we do have interactive model of communication. It's a two-way process as well of communication where the, the speakers, uh, both the speakers and the receivers, no po, they both exchange ideas, messages, and information. It involves an active exchange between two or more parties where each party takes turns as the sender and receiver of the message. In addition, the sender encodes the message and sends it through a channel to its destination whereupon the receiver decodes it. Once interpreted, they can then provide feedback either verbally or non-verbally. No, we talked about this, no, the importance of both verbal and non-verbal cues. No? Parehas po silang mahalaga when we provide or when we give, when we deliver feedback dun sa ating kinakausap. No, it involves, when we say non-verbal cues, it involves the gestures, the facial expressions, the body language, no po, to let the initial um, communicator know, uh, communicator no, know their point was understood. So, it's a sign no po, para masabi na they receive accordingly the message and they can respond as well doon sa message na iyon. Okay? That's interactive. Take a look at this diagram. We have the interaction model of communication. You know what, class? Uh, may kita nyo dito, no? Na, tama, meron tayong sender receiver, sender, receiver. Ibig sabihin, simultaneous, no? may, may chance sila to become the sender and at the same time, the receiver. There are still noise or barriers such as psychological context and or physical context. Part iyan eh, kapag tayo ay nakikipag-communicate. Okay? And of course, you have to select a specific channel no? para ma-deliver yung inyong message and or feedback. Okay? Hindi kagaya ng sa interactive model of communication. Ang topic kasi dito is ano eh, parang ano siya? Uh, ano nga to sa yung term natin for that? Uh, random topic yung pinag-uusapan kapag interactive model of communication. Sa kabilang banda, pag sinabi naman natin transactional model of communication, there is a specific topic na pinag-uusapan. So, dun lamang siya nakafocus. No? Transaction nga. Ibig sabihin, merong um, yun nga, specific o merong eksaktong pinag-uusapan. No? May eksaktong topic o paksa na pinag-uusapan. Not unlike an interactive from the word itself, interactive, active, meaning you can insert um, different topics no? habang kayo po ay nag-uusap. Yun po yung kanilang kaibahan. Ang kanilang pagkakapareho, parehas po silang two-way process of communication. Now, let me just give you an example for interactive model of communication. Let's say, for example, when two friends meet in person, they take turns talking and listening. Di ba kapag nagka-catch up, iba-iba yung topic na, na ilalagay or nababanggit natin. So, that is an example of what we call the interactive model of communication. Okay? It's a two-way process of communication where topics 
uh, flow no, naturally, randomly. And of course, we do have Shannon Weaver model. The Shannon and Weaver model of communication is a mathematical theory of communication that argues that human communication can be broken down into six key concepts. Imagine anim. Okay, hindi kagaya kanina no? sa linear, meron lamang tatlo, no? The sender, the message, and the receiver. Sa excuse me, sa interactive at sa transactional, madami din, no? Pero dito it involves six, no? We have the sender, the encoder, channel, noise, decoder, and receiver. It is known as the mother of all models because of its wide popularity. Actually, class, hango sa Shannon Weaver model ang dalawang naunang two-way process of communication which are interactive and transaction model. Kumbaga, ito yung naging basis na po. In here, the model is also known as information theory or the Shannon theory because Claude Shannon was the main person who developed the said theory. Okay? Moreover, the model's primary value is in explaining how messages are lost and distorted in the process of communication. And I think sabi nun, meron kasi class um, instances no po when we communicate towards other people, nagkakaroon tayo ng and uh, sandaling what do you call that mga mga ano to mga hindrance no mga balakid for us to deliver effectively our messages so yun 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 na naman ang katotohanan no po let's say for example actually mababanggit dito yung barriers no kaya mahalaga na malaman yung barriers for us to be more familiar about the function of Shannon Weaver model let's say for example sa klase uh, summer, no? Let's say, here in the Philippines, nataon kapag ang pasukan ay medyo may kainitan at hindi naman tayo naka um, ito, naka air-conditioned room. So, ang in, ang, ang eksena is that uh, yung iba sa atin, nadidistract tayo, no? Imbes na makinig tayo primarily sa teacher na nagle-lecture, mas nakatuon yung attention natin na magpaypay. No, na distract na tayo ng pagpapaypay natin to the point na wala na tayong naiintindihan sa nila lecture. Let's say for example ng ating teacher or maybe ng inyong classmate na nagre-report. Another example of a barrier sa communication where yun nga messages are lost and distorted is that habang nagle-lecture si teacher, no, patuloy kang kinakausap ng iyong kaklase, no. So na distract ka. Nawawala yung pinaka essence kung bakit nagle-lecture si teacher dahil nga distracted ka na na nawala ka na dun sa mismong communication process because of your katabi. Okay? That's an example of a real life scenario no where Shannon Weaver model is observed or evident. Take a look at the diagram. You'll see here no yung kanilang uh, flow, no? The sender will deliver the message, of course, uh, she has to encode it in order to decode the receiver, in order for the receiver to decode it. And of course, it is important to select a channel. Ano po? Ito po yung medium na pipiliin natin para maipadala natin yung ating mensahe towards the receiver. And of course, sa flow na iyan, hindi mawawala ang feedback. No? Kaagapay ng feedback ay ang barriers. Isa na nga dito yung noise na tinatawag natin. Once again, ito po yung tinatawag nating the Shannon Weaver model of communication. Okay? Now, let's define them one by one since mahalaga nga ito. Um, let's begin with the sender. Now, just like what I mentioned earlier, they are the ones, no, the person um, who has the information to begin with. Kagaya na banggit ko previously sa lesson natin, sila yung initiator ng usapan. Okay? He is the one who will initiate tungkol saan ang pag-uusapan. Okay? And of course, the encoder is the machine or the person himself or herself that converts the idea into signals that can be sent from the sender to the receiver. Mahalaga na ma-encode mo effectively yung message para matanggap siya ni receiver ng 
uh, malinaw na po. Next, we have the channel. It is the infrastructure that gets information from the sender and transmitter through to the decoder and receiver. We sometimes also call this as the medium, okay, or the platform, okay? And of course, noise, uh, from the word itself, from the context itself, it simply interrupts. No? Kapag may ingay, lalo kapag nag-uusap, nakaka-distract. It interrupts a message while it's on the way from the sender to the receiver. And finally, we have the code or decoding. It is the exact opposite of encoding. Okay, here Shannon and Weaver made this model in reference to communication that happens through devices like telephones or telephone conversation. Okay, for example, you might need to decode a secret message. Turn written words into something that makes sense in your mind by reading them out loud. Or you may need to interpret the meaning behind a picture sent to you. Okay? That's it. Shannon Weaver model of communication. And of course, we do have the receiver. It is the endpoint of the original Shannon and Weaver model of the technical communication process. This is a step where the person finally gets the message or what's left of it after accounting for noise. For example, class, a receiver might be the person on the other end of a telephone. The person reading an email, you send them an automated payment system online that has received credit card details for payment, etc. Those are the examples of what we call receiver, okay? Ganun po siya. Ang tagatanggap po, no? Nang inyong mensahe. And that sums up our lesson for this day. Hope you learned something today. If you have further questions or clarification, please feel free to drop your concern down. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much and goodbye.